Okay, now we're recording is we're doing superheat uh, method. So we're getting the indoor web bulb, we're getting the psychrometer right here. We're getting the indoor web bulb. See where it says, can't get it. Yeah, 61 indoor web bulb. All right, and then don't do nothing yet. Then we're gonna do the outside. Outside, the condenser is always on the outside, so it's gonna be at 100 degrees. So it's always 100 degrees. So 60, 62 degrees indoor web bulb. Outside, dry bulb, dry bulb 100 degrees. So you're gonna to go to your app. All right, you're gonna to go to your app, and then we're gonna put in indoor web bulb. We said 62, 62. degrees, right? Yes. So now you're gonna press select, and then we're gonna to go to dry bulb. Dry bulb. And then we said the dry bulb is always on outdoor dry bulb is 100 degrees. Go ahead, put 100. 90. Yeah. It's too much light. Right there, right there. 90 degrees. Press 90 degrees. Then you press select. Okay, then we're going to get the vapor pressure. The vapor pressure is the blue, and the vapor pressure for the blue is uh, 125. All right, so you go back here. Can I see it? 125 hang on. Look for 125. Select 125, 126. Then press select. Then we're going to get the vapor line temperature. So the vapor line temperature is your suction line temperature. So we go over here, we have our suction line temperature that's hooked up, all right? And that's going to my T2, which is your temperature, 58 degrees. So I'm gonna go back over here. Get 58 degrees. Wait a minute. Gotta get, gotta get this zoomed in better. 58 degrees. Go ahead. Get the 58. Attract. Select. Now, once you get all the temperature readings, your indoor web bulb, 62 degrees. Outdoor dry bulb, which is 100 degrees. In this case, 90. Vapor pressure, which is your blue side, 126. And vapor line temperature is 58 degrees. Then you calculate calculation then it's saying add charge okay our superheat is 15 degrees Fahrenheit but our actual superheat is 5 degrees Fahrenheit so what we're going to do is we're going to add charge to it and then we're going to come back and we're going to calculate it again